Sir Topham Hatt's engines are proud of how useful they are. It makes them feel important, but none of them feels more important than Gordon. Watch out, Gordon wished. You'll get my paint all sooty. Pulling freight cars is a sooty job, teased Salty, but then you wouldn't know. Of course not, Gordon huffed importantly. Express engines don't pull freight cars. It wouldn't be dignified. Dingy fried, puzzled Percy. What's that? Dignified, Gordon corrected. It means, it means that someone's too big for his buffers, teased Salty. Pa, said Gordon, and he puffed away. That evening, fog covered the island of Sodor. Everything slowed down, and soon the docks were packed with waiting freight cars. This caused confusion and delay. Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. He was in a great hurry. Henry, Thomas, and Percy, he said. You must go to the docks immediately. Yes, sir, they whistled. Then Sir Topham Hatt turned to the big blue engine. You too, Gordon, he said. I need a big engine to take the freight cars where they won't be in the way. Freight cars, huffed Gordon. He could not believe what he had heard. Gordon wasn't happy to be pulling freight cars. He waited impatiently while they were shunted into place. Hurry up, hurry up, chuffed Gordon crossly. Why the rush, Gordon, asked Thomas. If I must pull freight cars, then I'll show Salty how an express engine pulls freight cars, Gordon huffed. Careful, Captain, Salty tooted. You don't want to get too big for your buffers. But Gordon ignored Salty. The next morning, Gordon raced along with his heavy load. Now this is how you pull freight cars, he puffed. But the signalman had accidentally left the points switched to the branch line. Gordon rattled through the junction. That's strange. I'm on the branch line. Oh no, the signalman cried. Express trains aren't supposed to go that way. It was too late. Gordon had already raced into the distance. The old branch line was weak and rusty. There were signs warning all the trains to go slow. But Gordon ignored the signs. I'm an express engine. I don't go slow, he said. And he went even faster. The branch line couldn't take his weight, and the rails buckled. Oh, hell! Gordon cried as he slid off the tracks and into a field. No one was hurt, but poor Gordon felt very undignified. What will Sir Topham Hatt say, he groaned. He found out soon enough. Well, Gordon, said Sir Topham Hatt, you wanted to show Salty a thing or two, and you've certainly done that. You've shown him how silly it is to ignore go-slow signs. Sorry, sir, said Gordon, and he let out a sad whoosh of steam. Gordon was soon repaired and back at the docks ready for work, but he was very unhappy with himself. Everyone makes mistakes, said Thomas. Even you. Salty, sorry he teased you, puffed James. And I'm sorry I was too big for my buffers, chuffed Gordon. And all the engines gave a jolly toot. Even Gordon. Gordon.